To better understand the role IGF-1 plays in ROP, it's helpful to take a quick look at what happens during normal retinal vascular development in utero. First, we see the development of the vascular structure. Then the retinal vasculature is laid down, starting at the optic nerve and radiating outward as new vessels bud from existing ones. A human cell, when influenced by various environmental factors, can deviate from its normal function. The fate of the cell is often controlled by the localization of proteins. They affect the cell differently depending on their location, for instance in the nucleus or in the cytoplasm. XPO1 is a critical transporter which shuttles over 200 different proteins from the nucleus to the cytoplasm. Carbitocin has a slightly modified chemical structure, improving its stability and extending its half-life to 42 minutes. It stimulates uterine contractility within two minutes and lasting for one hour. Setup of the device is quick and easy. It consists of three main components. The pre-programmed controller has a digital display field for the healthcare professional and a patient dose button. To activate the menu of the controller, the medical staff holds the access card against the dose button. The traditional drug discovery and development pathway is divided into several distinct steps. The first step is finding a target or molecule that can be linked to the onset and progression of a specific disease. The effect of a target molecule is then confirmed during a process known as target validation. Suitable therapeutic drugs that modulate the activity of this target can progress along the development pathway and be tested in preclinical models. The best performing and safest drug candidates may progress to clinical testing in humans with the ultimate goal of regulatory approval and bringing the new drug to patients in need.